What is a superfood? Essentially, this term was introduced basically to enhance marketing of traditional foods, which are plant-based, um, that have been demonstrated by scientific research to have a potent amount of micronutrients essential to the functioning of our body's physiological processes. The easiest way to identify a superfood is actually by its color. The brighter, more vibrant or intense the coloring is in a fruit or vegetable, the higher the chance that it contains higher levels of micronutrients and phytochemicals. I'd like to zoom in on one superfood category in particular that would be the family of Brassica oleracea. Now that is the scientific term for the group of plants that fall under the Brassica genus. We have cauliflower, broccoli, as well as other related brassica such as kale. It has been demonstrated in oncology research, which is the study of cancer, that brassica related plants have the ability to inhibit the formation of cancer cells. When applied in the field of skincare and dermatology, this has very relevant implications for photo protection, which is protection from ultraviolet rays that damage the skin surface, as well as anti-aging processes via the antioxidant pathway. 